Princess Divine, how are you? I should ask you, I forgot to ask you, how are you doing? If you're still with me, how are you? Hey, Paul. How are you? Thank you for being here. How are you doing? Just let me know how you're doing. Let me know how you're doing and where you're joining us from if you can. That'd be fantastic. Awesome, awesome. And Paul, where are you joining us from? Are you in the US? Are you in some other part of the world? It's always good to know. Let me know where you're joining us from. And I am going to, um, I'm going to get us started because I think um, other people will join as we get rolling. All right. So I am so excited and so delighted to, to be live tonight. It's January 23 and it's an amazing Monday. It's a marvelous, marvelous Monday. Welcome, Paul, from the UK. Yes, great to have you. All right, so it's, a, it's an amazing day to be alive, and here we are, and it's such an amazing opportunity that I get to reach out and connect with you, Paul, from the UK, and from people all over the world, and I believe by this time, I, it's after seven o'clock Eastern time. I'm assuming it's five hours in the five hours ahead in the UK. So probably around midnight. So what an honor it is for me that you are here live with us. Thank you so much. Um, and so as I get started, I think it's good for me to share who I am and uh, what brings me to this particular um, live. So I am Lorna Blake. I am a leadership life coach and a speaker and trainer. And I help primarily women and organizations to increase their influence and income. Are you able to hear me very well, Paul? I'm not sure if um, my um, if everything is is okay and you can hear me. So let me know if you can hear me. And um, I will continue um, until I hear from you. So yes, I help primarily women, but I also have some men in my circle who show up from time to time to ask for my support. So I help primarily women and organizations to increase their influence and income. I have had the opportunity to work in North America, in uh, Asia, in Central America and also in the Americas, um, which includes Jamaica. I've had the opportunity to touch thousands of lives over the last several um, years, over the last, I would say, 10 years. And it's been tremendous for me that I get to live my life being of service to so many people. I'm also a co-author of several books including um, The Art of Fear-Free Living. I'm also uh, an international best-selling author of the My Big Idea book where I have joined with several other uh, authors to bring that about. And so I am truly blessed that I get to be of service to each and every one that uh, has come across my path. And one of the things that's really exciting about me and the work that I do is that I love people. I love being able to be of service. I love being able to make a difference in people's lives. So it really, truly excites me that I get to be here. 
Um, and I had made an announcement earlier this afternoon that I had uh, gotten an email uh, confirming that I am going to be speaking, I'm going to be a keynote speaker at an upcoming um, statewide women's conference that is coming up in a couple of months. And so that's very exciting to me. So tonight, what I thought I would speak about is the, uh, the idea of your biggest challenge and strategies for a solution. Um, I think that all of us can relate to having challenges. Now, this can be anything from creating a better relationship to feeling comfortable in your own skin, to speaking up, to being assertive, to communicating better with your partner, to making more money. And there are so many different um, things. For some people, it's releasing weight. There's all kinds of different things that could be your challenge. Whatever your biggest challenge is, for a lot of us, what we don't do is that we don't write down what it is that's in our heart. Sometimes it's in our heads. Most of the time it's in our heads. And so what I'm inviting you to do, step number one is to put your biggest challenge down on paper. So write it down. There's a book by Harriet Lerner, PhD, uh, called Write It Down, Make It Happen. And I had the opportunity to read that book several years ago, um, actually probably around 13, 14 years ago. And what I did was, as a result of me being very clear on what it is that I wanted to achieve, at the time I wanted to travel to South Korea, I wanted to experience that, um, I wanted to teach and travel, and South Korea was calling me and I wanted to take my two sons with me. And what was interesting about that situation is that I, as a result of me reading Harriet Lerner's book, Write It Down, Make It Happen, I wrote down this challenge. I had just come to a point of being a social worker for five years, I had burned out, I was ready for a change, I had gotten my teaching certificate, I had been teaching a bunch of students and I decided that I wanted to travel to Asia. I wanted to be able to experience life in Asia. So here I was, I had no notion of how it was gonna happen, but as a result of writing it down, I think a year and a half, two years in, uh, despite many obstacles that came my way, including people telling me there's no way it's gonna happen for you, there's discrimination in, in Korea, they don't like black people, all kinds of stories that I was told. I was able, and people actually told me in addition to that, that I wasn't gonna be able to find anybody who would employ me as a single mom with two boys. And it turned out that that was all false because as a result of me writing it down, I did make it happen. So I invite you as your first step to write down what is your biggest challenge for you today. Whatever that is, you can make it happen. Now, the second thing that I want to um, invite you to do is to, to think about what are the main obstacles? What would you say is the main obstacle that would stop you from having this big challenge or this big thing that you want, this big goal? What is the biggest obstacle to your having this goal? Write that down as well. It's always good to be able to face our fear. Um, it may be fear of um, fear of losing love. It could be fear of rejection, fear of being judged, fear of having nothing. Whatever that thing is, whatever it is that you're afraid is going to happen if you have this thing, or whatever is it, it is that's standing in the way of you having this thing, I invite you to write it down. Okay? Because writing it down will eliminate that as a result of you writing it down you'll be able to overcome it. You'll be able to face that, confront it. And by confronting it, you'll dissipate it. All right, so write it down. And then the third thing, so the first thing is to write down your biggest obstacle, your biggest challenge. Second thing is to ask yourself, what is the major thing that stands in the way? What is the major fear that stands in the way of you and this 
big challenge that you want to experience, all right? So take a look at that. And then the third thing is to um, just observe. Observe what comes your way as a result of you confronting your fear. The third thing I would say is rather than doing, is just being. So what are you feeling? How, how are you feeling about this particular challenge that you want to overcome? How are you going to feel once you've overcome this challenge is the best way to put it. All right. I knew that for me, going to South Korea was so exciting that I was, I had a feeling of, of it, feeling of exhilaration. I wanted that so much. I wanted it so very much. And so I was excited. I was passionate. I was just, in, you know, enthusiastic. So just write down the feelings that come to you, the feelings that you're going to have once you've experienced this big challenge, once you've overcome and you experience the goal, you've accomplished the goal. All right, so write that down. And then the fourth thing, and this is gonna be the final point, the fourth thing that I want you to keep in mind is that I am is, is a very powerful statement. And anything that comes after I am, it can either allow you to rise or it can derail you. It can allow you to rise or it can derail you. So what comes after I am? Start writing some affirmations, write some identity statements that allow you to feel good. I am powerful. I am unstoppable. I am strong. I am enthusiastic. I am passionate. Whatever the things are that you want to experience as a result of having this um, this particular challenge after you've resolved it, you've solved it, whatever it is that you want to feel, I want you to make note of that. I am, I am amazing. I am powerful. I am dynamic. I am whatever that is for you. I want you to write it down. All right. So use this statement on a daily basis. And as you get up on a daily basis in the morning and throughout your day and again in the evening, just keep affirming this until it becomes true in your life. All right, whatever that is. Um, if it's a fitness goal, I feel, I feel, notice it's I feel, I am enjoying the experience of being in my perfect body. Uh, if it's a relationship goal, I'm enjoying the experience of being in my perfect relationship. Um, if it's, uh, you know, a travel goal, I'm enjoying the experience of being in Asia or wherever it is that you are looking to, um, to be. Um, I'm enjoying the experience of having more money. So all of those things. And as I said, on a daily basis, affirm this and make that true for you. So to recap, because today is a very short call, uh, whatever your biggest challenge is, I want you to write it down. Write it down and make it happen. Step number two is what is the biggest fear that's standing in the way of you and your goal? Write that down as well. And then step number three, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> is to write, <clears throat> excuse me, some identity statements <clears throat> or affirmations that would allow this to change for you, allow you to feel this. Feel the feeling, feel the feeling of whatever it is that you want to experience. So step number three is really to feel the feeling. So go back to number one. It is to write down the challenge, your biggest challenge. Okay, step number two is what is the major obstacle or the major fear that's in the way. Step number three, feel the feeling as though you're already experiencing this right now. It's real for you. And step number four is to write affirmations that will allow you 
to start living that experience. I'm enjoying the experience of being in this, in my perfect uh, body. I'm enjoying the experience of living or being with my, in, you know, with my soulmate. I'm enjoying the experience of traveling to whatever the place is, or I'm enjoying the experience of whatever the thing is. I'm enjoying the experience of having more money and use that as a, on a regular basis. Get on, um, you know, as you get up in the morning, as you get on through your day, affirm that and begin to feel that. And what will happen is, as you begin to do that, you will observe that your life begins to take on a different meaning because you're actually engraving it in the subconscious. And the subconscious is your genie. Your subconscious says your wish is my command. So it has no other choice but to make your wish, your statement, your affirmation a reality. And so just keep going, keep plugging away. And the other thing I want to say is the feeling of it goes hand in hand with what you've written and affirmed. And so you want to feel it and experience it and sort of bring yourself to that place of, it's as though it's real for you. It's just, it. It can't not happen for you. All right. So with that said, I wanted to keep it short tonight. I trust that this is going to be helpful. I thank you for allowing me to share with you. And I want to bless you and ask you to move forward in whatever way you have to. Don't allow any blocks or any obstacles to stand in your way. Recognize that you can have whatever it is. Um, that you desire to have. And your goals are important enough to be experienced, to become a reality for you. So I invite you to not allow anything. The key to growth is to learn to make mistakes and just keep moving forward. Just know that you're all right, you're safe, and all is well. And only good is going to come of it because you're going for it. So keep moving forward. Thank you. Bless you. Have yourself a great night. Talk soon. Bye-bye.